Do you hear the tune? I hear it. Very nostalgic song. If you play this game as a kid. Or if you've played some Smash Bros. In the games where they have Pit. Because this is Kid Icarus, my friends. Oh yes, it is. Uh, I've actually played this game before quite a bit on the Wii Virtual Console. Um, I, I, I remember one time I was sitting there and I was like, man, I want to beat this game. So I like w looked at a guide and I was like trying to figure out how to beat it. And I got to the very end, I think I got to the final dungeon, and those fucking eggplant wizards, fuck those things. I don't know if we're going to need to encounter any of those right now, but fuck those eggplant wizards and their fucking eggplant faces. <sighs> Alright, I'm already angry. I'm even start yet. Let's play some Kid Icarus, shall we? This is definitely one of my bucket list games I want to beat someday. Again, it may not be right now, right, right now to right today, but we might, we'll probably come back to this one at some point to do it, because I want to. But it's going to take some practice, and I likely won't get enough practice in today to do such things. But let's try to make some progress. So basically your pit, this fucking kid, a vicariousness, he's got wings, he doesn't really fly, but he jumps kind of high. That's cool. Um, basically, the enemies kind of keep spawning, but they only respawn when you uh, kill them all. And then you scroll the screen up. Like, they won't show up again until you scroll the screen up. And that's basically how the game works. You can go in these little fucking rooms. Sometimes things will happen. Sometimes they won't. They'll just be an empty room. I don't... I don't really know. I don't... I can't... I couldn't even tell you. Doo -doo -doo -doo. But at least we got a bop of a song. The song is a fucking bop. For sure. The remixes on Smash Bros. games are very good as well. But the OG is top-notch NES stuff. By the way, you want to collect these hearts. These hearts are, again, not to heal you in any way. Very much like in Castlevania, they have another purpose. In this case, they are basically the game's currency. It will allow you to purchase things. You definitely want these big old half hearts. They are worth a lot more than one heart. <sighs> Oof, careful. Those eyeball monsters are going to start making things a little more DPC. So yeah, kind of the idea, just like any platform game, just kind of get to the end of the stage. In this case, it's a vertical stage, though. And if you fall once you've scrolled the screen up, you will die. Ooh, I forgot about that. Right, okay. So enemies are now showing up as these hammers. Forgot about this. You get the harp, you turn the enemies into hammers. How you... What do you do with those hammers? I don't know if I remember. Also, get ready for the worst enemy in the video game. Well, maybe next time when I'm not finished... Fuck me. I fell down, guys. I fell down. I fell down went boom. Clearly... Oh, you start at the bottom. I forgot. <sighs> yes, the worst enemy in the game. Gravity. I told you. Get ready for it. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, it couldn't have been timed any better, honestly. We were about to encounter the worst enemy in the game, actually. But then the real worst enemy of the entire universe reared its ugly head as soon as I said that because it knew that I was about to declare the wrong thing. It's like, nah, 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 nah. I'm the worst. And you will do well to remember it, good sir. Good sir. I am gravity and I'm going nowhere. Mm-hmm. I will forever be the bane of your existence. Especially in the video games. And the fatter you get, the worse I become. Yes, yes! I bother you in all facets of your life, for I am gravity. Feel the wrath. For a second, I thought you really were talking about Pit and the audio was just desynced. <laughs> is the audio desyncing? Or is it just me? Am I synced up with the, the audio, like, well? Because I, I changed the, the audio sync. Oh, it's fine, okay. Don't say nah, then yeah. That's like the least descriptive answer you could have given me. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna kill myself with that fucking heart. I'll take a hit. By the way, that's the first time we actually got hit. There is a health bar up there on the top left, in case you guys didn't see it. 
It's very small. It's more like a little red square. It hadn't changed yet, so I didn't really get to show off what it looked like when you got hit. Freaking died from falling before I died. I should have known I would die from falling before I would ever fucking get killed by the fucking health. Although I'm pretty sure this enemy is going to be the reason we get our first... Well, actually, he's not that hard when he's on his own platform that I can actually reach. So the idea of this guy is... I don't know if he's called the Grim Reaper or whatever, but he fucking looks like one, that's for sure. He fucking goes ape shit when you when he sees you. Also, I can't I can't hit anything right now. I'm dying. I'm dead. 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 I asked two questions, so it's my fault. But you know what? You shut up, you. Alright, so maybe we'll beat this level. Maybe we won't. By the way, there's not very many levels in this game, just FYI. I think there's like a total of I want to say there's a total of four main levels, but, like, I think each one has a dungeon at the end. If someone can confirm or deny that. I don't remember if that's actually the case. It's something like that. Like, there's a temple at the end of each level. Or maybe there's just eight levels, and the middle levels are temples. Because I definitely know there's, like, a, like a stage like this. And then there's definitely... Yeah. This game's not a real... I mean, I... The, the, the dodging wasn't my problem a minute ago. I just couldn't shoot anything properly. I was missing all my shots. But anyway, point is, uh, what are the hearts for? Let me answer that question, because I didn't really get to it. The hearts are basically currency in this game. Um, we haven't gotten to the point where I can actually show what you could buy or use it for. We'll get there eventually. Let's hope I have enough hearts to actually buy some of this shit. Um, it is worth grinding in this game, by the way, to get more hearts. These, these eyeball guys are a good source of it, because there's usually always four of them. And they always give half hearts, which are more than regular baby hearts, which you've already seen. Oh, their figure eight fucking path, though. I hate it. I hate their path. It's so annoying. I mean, they don't really swoop down on you. They only really are a problem when you start going up higher. But, damn. I'd be damned if they don't annoy the shit out of me. By the way, there are platforms you can jump through and there are platforms you can't. You just have to re recognize, realize, and socialize. No! Fuck! God! Shit! God! Ah. That jump has killed me two times out of three. Three times. Two out of three. Okay. Come on, man. Come on. <sighs> Maybe I should go the other way. Just so I can stop dying from the falling. Jesus. Time for quick saves? Shit, maybe. I shouldn't need the quick saves, man. Like, this is the first level. I would like to do at least the first level legitimately. I have gone through this almost whole game legitimately. So, I would like to not have to do it right the fuck away. Granted, this is the kind of game where it would really be nice, so I don't have to fucking get all these hearts again. But I don't want to do that right away. This is one of those games I'm pretty damn sure I can beat legit. It's just that last... I remember the last dungeon having those damn eggplant fuckers, and they are the worst. It'd be nice if I could show you why tonight, but that's never going to happen, because that's a lot of pain and anguish I don't want to get to at this point, I don't think. Let's just keep working our way up, y'all. Work our way up, y'all. Okay, so I'm actually going to go this way this time. Let's see how I fare the going this way. See if things fall apart for me. Okay, there's actually a door there I didn't even see. Oh, one of these rooms. Okay, so these rooms are weird. Um, basically, these enemies will... Sh oh, they give you full hearts, though. Yo, that's worth it. It's worth it if you can survive. Fuck. Fuck. It's worth it if you can survive, indeed. <sighs> well, shit. I forgot how crazy the swarm got. Alright, well, so far that's basically as far as I've gotten. I do remember when I first played this game, though. I pretty much had the same exact problem. I couldn't... Like, once I got to the point where there were swarms of enemies like that, I just couldn't handle the overwhelmingness of their pattern, and it just... It's not the most smoothest controlling game with the way he f jumps. and He's kind of floaty when he jumps. kind of have to commit to your jumps in this game. I do like that you can shoot upward, though. That's, like, one of the better features that I've seen in a game back from this back in this era. Being able to shoot 
vertically straight up is very nice. Also, don't do that there, though. Jesus. Jesus! You want to see Funk play a shmup? Well, you're in luck. There's at least one on this list. You want to see me play a shmup and actually beat it? Can I can I use can I use save states? <laughs> uh, I'm I guarantee you I can beat shmup a shmup or two out there. It would just take some practice, honestly. With practice, I could do it. In a one sitting, probably not gonna guarantee I can beat him, but. With some practice, I feel like I'm capable. Also, Ricardo over here spamming the emotes. Don't go too crazy, man. But welcome to the stream regardless. If I didn't already say that, which I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, we got rid of all the annoying ones. Damn it! Now I just gotta get... The ones that I can actually fucking shoot, I eh? Bop. This is worth it, because I'm getting a lot of hearts. But, uh, you can't can't really jump and shoot, man. Alright, so we got a good chunk of hearts there. Don't come at me, bro. Oh, the slowdown. The sl An error occurred within the game? Okay, so that makes sense if I was playing on a cartridge. Holy shit. It was probably all the slowdown, but god damn. Wow. That was amazing. That was amazing. I can't believe that happened. Mama, that was incredible. Heard it happens more if you play on download? What do you mean if you play on download? Wait, can you download the games and play them offline? I've never even tried that. Can you do that? That was incredible. That was absolutely incredible. I didn't even know these games could crash on the fucking NES emulator thing on the Switch. That's amazing. That was incredible. I'm very happy that that happened. <sighs> so good. <laughs> I'm not happy because I have to redo this, but I'm happy because it was hilarious. Man, the Reaper really is the worst, man. Crashing the whole fucking game. What a fucking epic enemy. He's like, y'all, you think you're gonna finally make some progress? Ha! You wish, bitch! Maybe safety save before that from now on, just in case. Maybe I should. That might be actually a good idea. <laughs> Just for the fucking game crash reason, not because I... That's pretty lame sauce. If it happens again, I definitely... I definitely will consider it. I don't think I'm going to do it right now, but I, I, if it happens again, for sure, I will. I will not let it be something we have to deal with for the entire time. So the hammers, right. Somebody asked about the hammers earlier. I'm pretty sure you don't use them until you go to the dungeon. Oh, crap. I should have went the other way. Too late. I got to make this jump. Um... But I'm pretty sure the hammers, you, uh, you don't utilize them until you're actually in a dungeon. Someone can, again, correct me on that if I'm wrong. I think that's how I remember it. Basically, you use the hammers and you give them... You give them to, like, the little homies in the dungeon, I think, and they use them. I think that's how it works. I actually don't remember now. It's been a long time. Come you fucking Grim Reaper. I'm just trying to murder your ass. Come on. It's just annoying because you can't hit him the whole time. You have to wait till he turns around. When he goes ape shit, you can't hit him. Also, how many hits does he take? Jesus. A million billion, apparently. Anyway, we got him. So I remember why you don't want him to go ape shit now. He, his little homies only show up when he goes ape shit. Could you go away? Thank you. Good lord. Not that I don't love the song looping forever. Uh, 
Okay, so I believe that refilled my health. Damn it. I think that's what that did. Alright, we got him. Don't worry, guys. We got him. Alright, let's check out what's in here. One of these is going to be a shop. Okay. I think this one's just, if you pick a pot, you get a secret. I don't know how long it sits here. Which pot should I pick? I'm going I'm to let chat pick. Chat, pick a pot. Any pot. Which pot should I pick? Let's go. Let's go. Pick a pot, any pot, any pot you pick. Let's go. Number seven. Bottom left. Bottom left. Two people said bottom left. You picked the worst thing. The worst. The absolute worst. <sighs> I don't know if that's the absolute worst, actually. <laughs> Just because we had to hear that song again. Now I gotta make some treacherous jumps. You know I hate it already. Okay, I can make this, right? Dude, this is actually very nerve-wracking. No joke. Very nerve-wracking. Luckily, there's no enemies here. Whew! Very nerve-wracking. Okay. Happy joy. Just take your time with these guys. If you can get if you can get them without letting your little homie show up, more better. Mo better. Ah, shit. Well, whatever. Just get the shots in, bro. Dude. Calm your tits, Grim Reaper man. This guy's homing on you way too good. Alright, come on. Let's get two shots in. Just watch that pattern, y'all. Ah, shit. Well, I got him. I got a pretty good chunk of hearts right going right now. Oof. Oof. I'm one hit away from death, though. This is going to be an unfortunate... Oh, my God. What are you? I'm finished. So, I think I actually got to the point where there was a checkpoint, though. No? I was wrong. Okay, well, this is a good video game. <laughs> Dude, I forgot you don't get a checkpoint. Oh my god, okay. That's rough. That is rough. Ooh boy. And now you see why I'm going to need practice at this if you actually want to... So what's the password for? The password is for when you actually make progress. The, the password, if you didn't notice, was exactly the same this whole time, no matter when I've died. I don't really know why they have a password. Um, I think, actually, if you actually get to a point where you can make some progress in this level, even if you don't... Basically, if you, like, get to the shop and you buy stuff, I think you get to keep the stuff if, with the password. Pretty sure. But you have to actually get to the shop, which I haven't gotten to yet. Which I don't even know where the fuck it's at. I know there's a shop in every level, though. So I either missed it, or it just hasn't showed up yet. These levels are longer than I remember, that's for sure. Pro I, 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 I seem to remember going through these levels a lot faster before, but... Man, some of these jumps are treacherous. I don't know if I wanna. I don't know if I wanna. Well done. Oof, that was close. Oh, 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 oof, oof, oof. Oh, that was perfect, but it didn't shoot far enough. So some of the upgrades, if I remember correctly, I believe one of them is something that like actually makes your arrow stronger. I know there's one that definitely makes your arrow shoot further. I remember that one. So you can like shoot things from farther away, which is actually very helpful in a game that limits your range with your starting weapon. Anyway, I need that health. I need that health refill like real bad. Damn it! I just talked about how I need a health refill real bad. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, well maybe in the interest of making a little bit of progress, I'll, I'll save state a little bit. Because again, I'm not going through the whole game right now. I'm just not. 
But I would like to show more than just this first part over and over and over. So let's do some of it. Because the thing is, if you make progress, the game does have, like, the check. There's the password, and I'm pretty sure if you don't quit your game out, you can just click continue and go, like, when you start over, you're at the level you left off on. You don't have to enter the password every time. Pretty sure. So. So, like, you only need to remember the password for when you come back. Kind of like Metroid, I believe, the same way. Um, I'm going this way now. Too late. Can't take it back now, y'all. Shit! <sighs> Oof, I thought I didn't make that jump. So, damn it, did I really ag aggro him? Before I even got started. Dude, eyeball dudes, go away. Damn it. Whatever, I got rid of him at least. Nice. Well done. Ooh, got him. Whew. At least the control's better than the remake. You don't like the you don't like the the, the newer Kid Icarus game? What was it called? Uh Kid Icarus Rising or whatever. I'm gonna go actually gonna make my save point right here. This is where we're doing it. You've seen this place, you remember it like it was yesterday. I know, right? Or maybe it was like five minutes ago. <sighs> I want that health upgrade, but I also <sighs> Yo, got it and didn't get caught. Let's go. Kid Icarus Uprising, that is what it's called. I said rising, huh? Damn it. His little trick worked on me. You punk ass. Alright, we got him. Ow. Let's get in here and... Oh, oh, wait. Came back. Alright, we're gonna pick the middle one this time. Ah, dicks. Alright, since we're there, we're here, let's make a new save point that's a little bit better, better predicament. It'd be nice if I had full health, but that's fine. I should have just made a separate one. I don't know why I made the same one. Oh well. Okay. Now we get to make these fun jumps again. Yay. These butthole puckering jumps. My favorite kind of jumps. You have to press L and move the circle pad with the left hand while using it to hold the 3DS against your right hand and tapping the touch screen. Oy vey. That doesn't... I, I can picture what you're describing and I... That sound is not fun. <laughs> Damn it, I jumped one split second too early. Oh well. Get this guy out of here. Got him. Okay, all those little homies despawn somehow. I'm okay with it. Honestly, just playing the 3DS... Like, playing anything on the 3DS that wasn't an RPG made my hand cramp. It didn't matter if it was something weird or not. Dude, fucking really? Eyeball monster? Oh, there's the flame guys that murdered me last time when I wasn't expecting him. Don't stand still for too long, they'll fuck your shit up. Alright, can we get to a shop? I'd love to figure out what we can buy. Please tell me this guy's- this- this door- oh, this is the end of the level. Yo, we made it to the end of the level, guys. Hallelujah, we did it. Maybe shops only appear at the beginning of a level. So, like, once you finish the first level, there'll actually be a shop. See, I just had to make some save points that I didn't actually need. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's make a save point here. Just in the off chance that, because I'm not sure how, what happens when you die. I don't know if you ha I, I thought, I think. I know what I said earlier about it. I think it goes to a continue screen. And it just takes you right back to the level you're on. I think that is how, what happens, but I, if I'm wrong, at least have a fail safe just in case. <laughs> takes you back to the first level, you know? It would be pretty harsh to die once and have to start the whole game over again, so I think that's how it works. Again, there is the password system, so we can we can write that down, just in case. Don't like the icy platform right now. Gonna hold off on grabbing that health for a moment, just in case I get hit. Well, fuck that up, but alright. <laughs> oh man, another one of these rooms? Okay. 
I was, I was kind of hoping for a for a shop. I don't know, maybe. Well, I had full health coming in this room, and now I'm fucking down to one hit. So that's cool. We're gonna discover what happens when you get a game over real soon. Real soon. When you're on the next level, of course. We've already seen me die, so that's not a surprise. Oh, come on! I misjudged. I thought there was one... Ugh. Okay. So, it does start you on the level you're on. And it actually... Wait. Is that, that's how many, is that how many hearts I had when I started the level last time? I might actually have the same amount of hearts. Okay, so the ch you get a checkpoint at the end, at the end of a level. That is a checkpoint. Okay. I'm pretty sure I got all my hearts back. I actually don't remember how many I had when I finished the last level, but I think I had that many. Maybe I had less or more. I actually don't know. I had a lot a minute ago, but that's because I did that room with the fucking those nose monsters, which I would like to keep doing. Because the more hearts I get, the better off we will be when I get a shop. Ow. I can't even get it. Okay, we got it. We're good. Alright. More than one hit left over. He's got so many hearts, that means the game loves him. Yes, that's what the hearts mean. The game is in love with me. No, I will not make out with you video game. Not while everyone is watching, anyways. Mm -hmm. Alright, please be a shop. Yes! And I don't have enough for any of this! Holy crap! That's a lot of money! I didn't know it was going to cost that much. Fuck. Well, here's our first shop. Again, uh, if I had to... Okay, so I'm going to guess what these things do, because I actually don't know. I think the feather might make you jump higher. Don't quote me on that. I think the one on the left might heal you all the way. And the barrel or whatever the hell that is in the middle, no fucking clue. <laughs> no fucking clue. At all. I wouldn't mind somebody looking up and telling me what those do, because I honestly have no fucking remembrance of what any of those actually do. Also, holy fuck, I'm alive. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, I made the dumbest decision and I'm still alive, so we're good. We're good. Oh, you can duck, I forgot. And... Eh? Oh, come on! So I had like 115 hearts, right? Okay, yeah, 115. That's where it leaves you at. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so actually what we could do... We can use this time to grind out some heart heart action. Because we needed, what, like 400 and something? If we get to 500, we'll have plenty. The problem is, that's a lot of hearts to grind for. <laughs> These give you five apiece, which is really nice, but man, it's still going to take a while. Damn it. It's alright, we got a heal coming up, so it's fine. The other key is you don't want to scroll the screen up too fast, because otherwise the enemies won't uh, spawn until you scroll the screen up, and then you'll eventually get too high up. So you gotta like kind of pace yourself a little bit. Do a little bit of pacing, y'all. So just to cl be clear, the bottle is an auto-restore for one bar of life if you die. That's what I thought. The barrel allows you to carry up to eight of those bottles. Oh. And a feather temporarily flight if you fall down a pit. Those are not as good of items as I would have thought, actually. Never mind on wanting to buy them that badly, then. Pretty sure you can extend your life bar and stuff. I guess I don't remember what you have to do to do that. I feel like you bought them at shops. Maybe you just find them. 
Or maybe it happens when you finish a dungeon. Fuck, I'm dead. The feather seems pretty useful. I guess so. <sighs> okay, I think it might be time to start using the save save states again. Maybe the maybe it's four worlds and each world has like three or four levels. Maybe that's what I'm remembering. I feel like there's only four dungeons. That's the part I remember. So maybe it's like you go through four worlds to to get to that point. That's probably the case. Oh, did you say before? I didn't see everything you said earlier, DJ. Three worlds with four levels? Oh, so I have it backwards. There's only three three worlds. And there's a final level. Oh, okay. So maybe... Okay. Fair enough. Misremembering, but that's fine. What else is new? Damn it. I was trying to grab that heart, but... Instead, we go in the door. I will gladly miss. Oh! <laughs> I'll say I'll gladly miss out on a heart if I don't die. Fuck, I died. Well, shit. Here I was saying I was gonna fucking start using safe states. I wanted to see if I can get some hearts though, man. Come on. I don't want to abuse them in the sense like every two seconds. I wanted to make some progress then use it. Plan was to get through that room then use it after I got the heals. But... Still gonna try to do that, but we'll see how that goes this time around. Alright. Only got hit once. Let's try again. Here we go. Take your time. Pay attention to where the enemies are at. Take them out. Got him. Good times. Got all the hearts from him, too. That's a 243. Not bad. Oh, the heal doesn't respawn or stay spawned? I mean, I didn't despawn it, but fuck that. Oh, my God. That's lame. Make a separate save point for that one, but that's lame. Oh, man. I already got hit. I'm dead. I am so dead. So fucking dead. Some hearts right there, y'all. Oh, come on, eyeball. Don't be a dick butt. Was this the shop? This was the shop. Okay, obviously you don't have enough still. That's fine. An interesting... Uh, I can't believe they expect you to have that many hearts this early on. I guess in the first level I could have had way more if I took much time more. But I didn't know. I don't remember the totals you need to make purchases, man. Holy moly! I somehow. Oh man! Calm down, you fucker! Alright, somehow we got out of that alive. Ah, oh, fuck, another one of these rooms? Ah, oh, fuck! I didn't know it was going to be another one of those rooms! Ah. Alright, well, let's start using that damn save file that I made for a reason. Also, I should get the heal before I go in the room. Because otherwise it's going to despawn like I saw before. I don't know why I didn't even think about that. Alright, mental note. Grab the damn heals. It's going to disappear anyways. Also, whoa, I slid right... A little bit further than I thought. And, oh my god, I thought I was dead. This dude must have scared so many kids back in the day. Yeah, probably. That fucking Grim Reaper dude, man. He's no joke. He don't play around, y'all. Between actually kicking your ass and, and the music that plays is kind of demented and weird. He don't play around, y'all. I wonder if I could just get by him. I don't really want to get hearts out of him, honestly. I just want to get by him and heal. There we go. Now we're going to create a new save point. Because fuck you. I don't even care anymore. 
I'm down. I'm down to just make progress at this point. Because again, there's a pretty good chance we're gonna start this from scratch and maybe grind out some more hearts if I'm actually gonna try and beat this for real. This is the uh, get reacquainted with Kid Icarus stream right now. Oh! Oh! Okay! You could just go through the ground. I knew that. Whole time. I didn't know that. I pressed down and he just went down through the floor. That was unexpected. And not cool. <laughs> First time I did that. And it happened to be on accident. Cool. It saved me first, and then it killed me. It's pretty neat, right? These snakes fucked everything up. That was the problem. Come on, snake fools. All right, Grim Reaper man. Got him. All right, what do we got in here? We got another shop with cheaper things that I still don't have enough for. Wow. The two things I were, uh, these were both more expensive at the previous shop. Another bottle for a refill. <sighs> the hammers. I'm guaranteeing the hammers will be useful in the dungeon. I remember that specifically, that you need like a certain amount of hammers when you get to a dungeon. You can check in here how many hammers you have, by the way, which I completely forgot until just now. It's the first time you've seen the menu. Yeah, see, strength and endurance. You can increase them. They're a thing. Stage 1, 2. That's where we at. Speaking of which, let's just create another save point here. Because right now, we're just trying to make some progress, y'all. I feel like I should beat this game with the save states first, just so I can learn the levels. Also, wow. Just wow. Getting too nonchalant, Funk, just because you can save it now? Come on, boy. Pay better attention. Too much momentum. Upgrading strength and endurance in this game is a real pain in the ass. Uh, I don't really remember. How, how do you... I don't really remember how to do that. Is there a specific way you're supposed to do it? Also, it's just rain and snakes right now, dog. Rain. Oh, oh, no! No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> almost made a save spot in the death. That would have been smart. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was like, what? Create save point? No, what? What? Dude, slow down, bro. Oh, my God. Snakes. I mean, I want these hearts. I do. Even if there is one at a time, I'll take them. Make the jump and don't over jump it. There you go. So I'm pretty sure I want to go like that. Ah, fuck. Okay, I guess I have to go the other way. Whoops. My bad. <sighs> I thought I could go from right to left or left to the right side of the screen. And no, I mean, you probably can if you do it correctly, but not like me. Not in the same fashion that I just showed. No siree. Anyway, how much? Long I, I'm, trying to think, I'm, I'm trying to gauge how long I've played this game already. I've been playing it for like 40 minutes already, huh? I figure I'd invest about an hour into this game, and then we'll move on to the next game. I don't want four new eyeballs to spawn yet. I'm not ready. Funky is not ready. So I can't go through this way? Nope. Wait, what? If you press A and B on the controller... On controller 2, Pit attempts to... To intimidate the shopkeeper into reducing his prices, but Piss must have a... Pissed. Pit must have a strength value greater than the stage number? What? That sounds incredible. I mean, it's only stage one of one, two. 
And my strength's only one, so I assume it won't work right now. That sounds absolutely incredible. I did not know that was a thing. That's hilarious. Oh god, this is just fucking... I don't even want to deal with these guys. These guys? I don't want to deal with them. I'm just gonna... Hmm, you know, <laughs> I have full health. I'll take the fucking deal with... I'll deal with these floaty fucks. Just to get the hell away from Grim Reaper, man, you know? Hey, <laughs> hey. Oh god, here comes the death. Oh, oh, I didn't realize it was gonna scroll across. That's nice. Oh, well, at least there's no knockback when you get hit. That I'm okay with. That is 1,000% okay with your boy. Shoddy's okay with your boy. Shoddy, jump it. Take your fucking time, motherfucker. Don't fuck it up. We've been going up pretty high here. We can't. It can't be that much further to the end. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, there's the end. Also, oh my. Well, no. Never mind. That's not the end. I was wrong. Glad you came, Pit. Here, take this. Ooh. Is that a strength upgrade? That's a strength upgrade, guys. Hallelujah. 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 We just got some strength. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh yeah. This is the end of the level, by the way. And of course, they put a Grim Reaper in front of the door, which I just shook and booked like a champ. Let's go. Stage one, two for the win. All right. Well... Because we got past the end of that stage, let's make the save point here instead. And let's do it, man. I'm excited. We got a strength upgrade. It's all good, baby. All good in the hood. So does my thing go further across the screen now? Does not seem to be the case. Hmm. I question whether or not that's actually a thing, even though I talked about it earlier. A way to increase your strength, or your, your arrow distance, if you will. It's own frog! Me no like un frog. Better to not take damage there. I'm starting to kind of get a feel for the game at least, so I'm doing better. God, they fucking jumped my ass in the corner here. No qu No cool! No cool! Bitch. We have 400 though. Might be able to buy something, will ya? Question is... Am I gonna get a heals? Or am I gonna find a shop first? Also, Fireman tried to ruin me! Fire man. It's that that fire man. He's trying to ruin you, ruin you, fa fa fire man. Ooh, there's a door here. Yo, it's a shop! Yo! Okay. Question. Is this just an instant health refill or is this a health boost? I'm guessing this is a health refill, like for right now. Which I also need. Here's how you test it health refill for right now. Alright. Well, you know what? I'll take it for now. Just because I need it anyways, but I might just reload that one. Yeah, I know the bottle restores your health when you die. That I know. But I was literally one hit from death, so it's like, what would have been the difference? I guess I could have took that extra one hit. That's the difference. It's fine. It costs more, though, also, so that would have been the other downside. Less money's in my pocket. Going for middle. Yo, I got a hammer. Got a hammer. We will need those hammers. I don't really... Actually, I shouldn't say you need the hammers, but they're very helpful. I remember them not being required, but they were helpful in the dungeon. Because I remember you didn't need them. 
That much I do remember. Ooh, can't make that. Okay. Gotta make it from the middle jump. Heh. 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 I was gonna say, oh god, it does hurt you. What? Okay, so I, you know, I thought the spike thing was gonna hurt me, but it didn't hurt me the first time. When I, like when you go through it, I guess it only hurts you when you like go all the way into it. That was weird. Very strange hitbox. Did not like. Did not care for. Also, don't care for these bouncy fucks that come from the bottom of the screen. Double don't care for. Not okay with them. Me and them shall not be friends. Oi, oi. Oh shit, there's a hole there. Fudge. Fudge go fudge ka. All right. Um. I'll, uh, just take the. I'm just gonna take the health refill instant. Fuck it. That's. That's the one you want. Poor man on time. Almost been going for an hour. I'll go until my clock hits two hours, which is another five, six minutes, and we'll see where we're at. And then I'll I'll reevaluate in that moment. Uh is it worth going this way? I don't know. Probably not. Actually, wait, there it is, because I didn't go I didn't get this door last time. What's in here? Oh fudge. Well, Wait, did I get this over? I, I, I did, um, yeah, no, I did not. I definitely did not. I definitely went the way with all the spikes last time. I did do the same path? Well, then I'm stupid. What are you gonna do? Well then, I'm a dummy dum, and I got the same hammer. Well then, what else is new? Can't believe I fell. That was a dumb death earlier. Like it wasn't to be different. It was like a hard jump. I missed it, or I hit my head on something. It was like I didn't realize I was gonna fall. That's how. I, that's why I died. I didn't realize it. I didn't see it coming, man. Alright, it's hammer time, y'all. Give me your hammers. I need those MC hammers. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was some big boy hammer get itch. Get itch. Funky, how much can I expedite an LP by buying you a game? Depends what it is. But a lot. You can expedite it a lot, usually. Because if, if it's a game I never, ever considered playing, or I'm postponing it because I don't have it, that certainly helps it along. Damn it. Apparently you can find a bow that increases your range. I thought so. I, 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 I distinctly remember being able to shoot further. Fuck! I shouldn't have killed that guy. Dang it. I should have freaking made another save point. Oh well. Alright, this time I will. It's your new favorite, baby. The World of Horror? Yeah, see, I don't even know what that is, dude. I have no idea what that is. Sounds like something I would say for October, though. So, there's a good chance if you do send it or give me something like that, I'll play it in October. Of course I got hit before I went in there. I'll take the same hammer. Hell yeah. Ugh. Dang it! Stop raining snakes! Dicks. Cut it out. Are you done raining snakes? Never. Never, the game says. Never! Probably safer to go the other fucking way. Do 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 do. It's a Junji Ito Lovecraft roguelike retro PC game. That is the most weirdly described game that I've heard in a while. 
That's too many things. How can you be that many things? Alright, come on. Ugh, fucking bouncy fuck. You bouncy fuck! Dang it. Just trying to get more of the hammers, man. Also, how is that two snakes stacked on top of each other? Explain to me, video game, how that was two snakes. Also, we should make a new save point. Let's just make one over the first one now. Now that we've made some progress, I really don't care. These save points don't mean anything to me anymore. Like, which one does what anymore? At this point. Because there's a pretty good chance I start this game from scratch to kind of re-warm up slash re-gauge, like what to do. Damn it, that spike really hit me. Fuck. I'm gonna die. Death comes to us all. Ugh. Fucking spikes, man. Ruining me right now. Fucking... Let's do that again. Fucking raining snakes and shit. How dare you. I don't know what Junji Ito style means, by the way. You're just saying words. Expecting me to know what you mean by Junji Ito. Who's Junji Ito? And what style does he, he or she use? Also, damn it. I ain't got enough for this. Can I threaten you? Can I threaten you? I don't think I can threaten you without a second controller. Damn it. Well, I, I mean, I have a second controller. I don't think it's connected as the second controller, though. Ah, come on. Back off. Oh my god. Apparently you can find a credit card in this game? Really? That I did not know. Junji Ito is a horror manga novelist. Yeah, exactly. I don't know shit about it, so like... It doesn't interest me because I don't even know what the hell it is, you know? Fucking really? Alright, well, we've passed the two-hour point of my stream. The question is, how much longer do I want to linger on this game? I wanted to get to the first dungeon, but man, this is a much harder situation than I'm remembering. Not that I thought it was going to be easy or something, but like, this is pretty difficile. Fuck! Fucking really? Ah, come on. Spikes are so touchy, quite literally. No! 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 Damn it. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna call it there. That's Kid Icarus. Um, yeah. I'm definitely gonna come back to this one at some point, guys. This is not one that I, I, I figured I was gonna sit here and try to beat it in one sitting. I, I, my, my main thing is, do I really want to try and beat it legit, or do I really care? But it's definitely not a one sitting game for uh, when I'm not practiced at it. Especially since I've played it before. And it wouldn't be, like, super blind other than... Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's like, semi-blind in the sense that I haven't played this in so long. But, like, yeah. Anyway, so that, like I said, that's Kid Icarus. Hopefully you're enjoying. Or you will enjoy. Or you did enjoy. But hopefully you're enjoying so far. Because we're going to play some more games. So stop asking about enjoyment and let's do it.